I'd always intended to use World AIDS Day, which is December 1st of every year, as an opportunity to talk about AIDS and HIV in order to spread awareness and dispel myths. However, the topic of HIV and AIDS can be a very taboo subject still to this day. The reason this topic is important to me is because I experienced the epidemic of AIDS and HIV firsthand at a very young age while living in the country of Zaire in the early 1980s. Zaire was the country where the first known cases of HIV-1 strain emerged in the late 1950s and early 1960s. The disease slowly spread across the country of Zaire throughout the 1970s and emerged into the capital city of Kinshasa in the late 70s and early 80s. In 1981, when I was eight years old, HIV and AIDS had not yet been given a name. Because of fear, superstition, lack of knowledge, those in Zaire with the disease were banished from their homes by their own families and were left to die in the streets. The locals called them spider people. Fear and misunderstanding about HIV and AIDS still exist today. The best way to dispel myths about this very preventable disease is to get facts from multiple reliable sources. Two reliable sources of information on HIV and AIDS are the Centers for Disease Control, cdc.gov, and aids.gov. One of the most comprehensive and moving stories of HIV and AIDS is the documentary by Frontline on PBS called The Age of AIDS. Do you have any questions you want to ask me? Yes. I am the Stephen. Hmm? Why are you positive? Okay. You've got a virus in your blood. Okay, which makes you HIV positive. So that's so that's why you're positive. Okay, you 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 you've got the virus. Um, I don't know if your mom told you where she where she got the virus from. Did you did you explain to her? Okay. Okay. Well, one day when you're bigger, she'll explain how you got the virus. But at the moment. If you take your medicine, the medicine stops the virus. 